I have received a lot of questions through comments and messages, how to edit videos in CapCut. So in this video I'm gonna show you, how to create a cinematic intro in CapCut. CapCut is now available as an online video editor. You can check it out under the description link. So today I'm gonna use CapCut online video editor. Because there is no download and installation required. Also, you can use the CapCut app for Windows or mobile. For full access to the CapCut online video editor, create a free account. Then click on edit online. Now go to the project panel to upload your video clips or footages, and other elements you want to use in your video. Also, you can upload them from your cloud storage. Here I've already uploaded some video footages and background music. First I'm gonna add the music to the timeline. Simply click on your music, and it will appear in your timeline. Then select the audio clip, and go to basic options. Here you will find the beats detection option. Just enable beats detection, it will add key points to the beats in your music. Zoom in the timeline to watch the key points perfectly. Let's take a look how it worked. As we can see it's nearly perfect. Now I'm gonna add my footage. So click on your video clip, and it will appear in your timeline. Let's match the footage with the music. I'm going to start the video with this beat. Now we need to add a fade in animation at the start of the video. So select your video clip, and go to the animation feature. Here you will find a lot of in and out animations. You can easily add fade in animation by clicking on it. Also there is another way to add fade in animation. Go to the basic option, add a keyframe on the opacity, and set the opacity level to 0%. Now move a few frames forward, and increase the opacity level to 100%. As you can see, the fade in animation is perfectly matched with music beats. Now just cut this clip at the second marker. Then add another footage, and adjust your footage duration with the beat markers. Now add another one. Here I'm going to find the best movement that match my music beats. So move the indicator on the exact point. Click on split icon to make a cut here. And delete the unwanted part. It looks perfect. Now just trim your footage on the key point. There is some hyper music beats. So I am gonna add several footage in this key points. So add your footage, and trim it for the first beat. Then add another footage. I want to use the jumping part for this clip. So move the indicator on the exact point, and click on the split button to make a cut here. Now just delete the unwanted part. Here I want to speed up this part, so select the footage and go to speed options. Then increase the speed level a little bit. Now decrease the footage duration for the hyper beats. And continue this process till the ending key points. I am speeding up this part, so that you don't have to wait. Let's see a quick preview. As you can see, the video clips are perfectly matched with the music beats. Now we are going to add some sound effects, to make our video more impactful. For the first clip, here we need to add a footstep sound effect. So go to CapCut's audio feature. Then click on sound effects. Here you will get free sound effects. Let's search for footstep sound effects. And that is what I need. Now just click on this plus icon to add this in your timeline. To adjust sound effects perfectly, you can decrease the sound level of the music. 
So select your music and go to basic options. Now decrease the volume level. The footsteps are moving so fast. So select this audio and decrease the speed level. Now I have to synchronize the sound effects with my clips. Let's move forward. Here we need to add a jumping sound effect. Let's try to find the sound effect. These sounds are not okay with it. Let's search again. Jump! I can't finding the jumping sound that I'm looking for. I always love to use epidemic sound to get the perfect sound effects. You can get free 30 days of epidemic sounds under the description link. Inside the epidemic sound, go to sound effects and search for jump. And that's it what we need. So just click on download. Going back to the cap cut, go to media and simply import the downloaded file. Click on it to add it to the timeline. Let's adjust the sound effect with jumping. I think it's perfect. Here we can add a throwing sound effect. So back to the epidemic sound and search for throw. This one will be okay for this. Now again back to cap cut and import the audio file. Then just click on it to add this in your timeline. Let's adjust the sound with the movement in the footage. I think it's perfect. Again, here we need footsteps sound. So just copy the footstep sound from the first clip and adjust with this foot movement. I am okay with it. Now select the music clip and increase the volume level. Let's see a quick preview. It looks great, but let's decrease the jump and throw sound level a little bit. I'm going to add a riser sound effect to the end of my footage, which will make it more impactful. So go to the sound effect panel and search for riser sounds. This one will be perfect for me. Let's add it to the timeline, move it to the end of the video. Let's decrease the volume level a little bit. Now it's perfect. Let's add a text line here. So move to the text feature. Here you will find plenty of text presets. In my case, I'm going to add a heading text. Let's change the text line to cinematic. Then move to the basic options. Here you can change the font as well. I would like to use the uppercase. Let's see a quick preview. It looks perfect. And last add a black bar on the video to get a cinematic look. So let's download a black bar. Since my footage is in 4K resolution, so I'm going to search for 4K black bar PNG. Now choose the best one, and just download it. Then back to the cap cut, and import the black bar image. Now click on it, and add this above on your footages in your timeline. 
extend the duration of the black bar all the way to the end of your footage. Now select the background music, click on split button to make a cut, and delete this unwanted part from the background music. Last add the fade out animation to the music and footage. To export the video, go to share, and click on download. Then rename your file name, and change the resolution. Set the quality to high, frame rate to 24 FPS, and then just click on export. You can check out CapCut online video editor under the description link. After completing export, click on download, and enjoy your video.